Hi, I'm Tom Lydon, editor of ETF Trends here in Orlando at the TD Ameritrade Institutional Conference. I'm here with Garrett Smith, Senior Vice President at ETF Securities. Thanks for being with us, Garrett. Thanks very much for having me today, Tom. So you guys are a very unique ETF provider in the fact that you focus specifically on the metals area. Now, not just gold that a lot of people like to talk about, but there's silver, there's platinum, there's palladium, and you also have an ETF that's kind of a compilation of the three. Tell us a little bit about your strategies. Correct. I think what we're trying to do really is give advisors the opportunity to evaluate allocations within the precious metal space, but give them the opportunity to look at metals either individually or maybe to diversify out of an existing gold position and look at evaluating positions in silver, platinum, and palladium. Because the idea here is, although people tend to throw metals into one big bucket and treat them the same, they don't, all don't operate the same, right? Correct. I mean, I think if you think of gold, it's been the ultimate hedge against inflation and event risk really since the beginning of time. But if you look at the current investment thesis for what we like to call the more pro-cyclical growth metals, mm -hmm. silver, platinum, and palladium, we like the supply and demand dynamics right there across those three metals. Uh, really probably in the intermediate term, a little bit better than gold. Because in, in those areas, there's more of an industrial component along with the collectible component and, and supply and demand is different as well, right? Correct. I mean, from the standpoint of uh, industrial utilization, platinum and palladium are primarily used in automobile catalytic converters. And really, since the crash of 2008, what we have seen is automobile sales across the United States, Canada, and China get back to almost pre-crash levels. Right. So from the standpoint of putting in a, supply, uh, a support level, really, on the price of platinum and palladium, we feel that they're uh, you know, poised for good upside on the, in the near and intermediate yeah, term. Which is, which is a huge point. We don't hear enough about that. But just three years ago, I saw some reports about people were holding on to cars in the U.S. the longest they had in 50 years. And then all of a sudden, bingo, economy comes back, sales go through the roof platinum palladium start to move, right? Correct. I mean, what we're seeing right now is hopefully uh, units of automobiles sold here in the U.S. for 2014 looking to be about 16 million units. Wow. Uh, what's an interesting t statistic is roughly about 86% of all licensed drivers here in the U.S. own an automobile. You drive down your local neighborhood, there's probably at least one, two, or probably three cars in the driveway. Over in China, and the Chinese primarily use unleaded gasoline burning engines, mm -hmm. Um, about 14% of all licensed drivers in China own an automobile. So you've got tremendous upside in terms of units of automobiles that could be sold to Chinese drivers. Right. And we so, feel that that's going to be a good upside really for platinum and palladium as we move forward. So if you don't, if you're not necessarily an expert on supply and demand and all the metals individually or collectively with your, your combined ETF, Glitter, GLTR is the ticker, right? Correct. You, act, you go into that index and rebalance, is that annually? Um, it's actually, there's no rebalancing event within the investment objective of the product itself. Okay. What we're doing is we're giving you a fixed amount of exposure per ounce of metal. Okay. Okay, so um, from the standpoint of what we've been seeing in advisor utilization of that particular product, it's an asset allocation solution to the entire precious metal space that's physically backed. Um, it's a very clean structure from a tax standpoint. Mm -hmm. It doesn't issue a, a K-1, it's a 1099. Yeah. It offers a lot, I think, the diversification benefits that advisors are looking for. Well, alternative strategies have been very, very hot for advisors. And you know, while the stock market in 2013 had been on fire, these are areas, the unloved areas, that people should be looking at closely now. Well, hard assets certainly struggled back in 2013. Yeah. We had gold down roughly 25%, silver down 30%. Uh, you know, you talk to advisors about reversion to the mean, yeah. buying things that are undervalued. Certainly gold and silver fit that uh, you know, profile right now. And if you pepper in a little bit of platinum and palladium, you get a nice diversified story, not only to hold gold as that ultimate hedge against inflation and event risk, yeah. but exposure to those more pro-cyclical growth metals. Great. And right now the global rebound story is alive and well, and we're hoping that the basket obviously garners a lot of traction within right. the advisor community. Great information. Garrett, thanks for being with thanks us. Thanks very much, Tom. Appreciate it's a pleasure it. to be here. Thank you. Thank you.